In this video from Sharp Help, we're taking a look at programming the receipt header message on the XEA217 register. So if you're familiar with the machine, you'll be aware that the standard format um, is thank you for your purchase. We are looking forward to your next video visit. Um, I'm going to change that to a free line message that simply says Sharp Help, the website, and then a made up phone number. Um, so it's fairly straightforward to do. There's a couple of things you'll need um, to make it easier for yourself. The first one is obviously the overlay, so the alpha overlay, so it makes it a lot easier entering the characters. And then also page 63 of the manual um, is probably worth having to hand um, because that's got the character code. So if you need to enter colons or full stops, decimal points, that sort of thing, that will be very useful. Um, so to start with, um, all the programming on these machines is done in the PGM mode. So you press mode, then 6, followed by TLNS, or you could scroll to line 6. Um, you get the same results, you're in program mode. You then need to choose setting, and then the messages are in line 10. So you could type in 10 and jump straight to it, or you can scroll to it. They need to go to receipt logo and that's got the default text on there. Um, so if I now refer back to what I'm going to program on mine, I'm having sharp help um, and then the website. So my top line is sharp help. I'm going to put a space in there. Um, so it's easier to start by deleting what's already there so you get a clear view of what you're typing in. So you've got a delete button here. I'm going to have mine in caps, so you press caps once and that's changed the A to be have a background which means it's in capitals and then you simply type in your description sharp space buttons here and there we go, that's line 1 programmed arrow down and then delete second line So my second line I'm going to have the website, I'm going to have that in lowercase, so I'll take the caps off and then I can simply type in the www and now uh, to get the dot of www dot it's um, character code 46 on the chart so with this is where the chart comes into use so to get that you press double zero the code button and then 046 gives you your dot and then you can type in the rest of the address And then again, double zero, zero, four, six, double zero, zero, four, six, and then we're on to line three. Delete what's on line three. I want my TEL in caps, TEL, and I'm going to have a, the semicolon, which again on the character code chart is 058, so it's the code button, 058, and then we'll pop in a space, and then to get the numbers, um, there's a text button on the till which toggles between, actually now on this machine, because it's a flat keyboard machine, you can just type the numbers in here, so it's a lot easier doing it on this sort of machine than it is on a raised button machine where you have to toggle to get the numbers. Um, so that's my top three lines done. Obviously I could repeat the process for the remaining lines four, five and six, but for the so the video is not too long, I'm just going to simply delete those lines just to clear them out. You don't actually have to do this because I've got another video which will show you how to edit the format of the receipt um, so that you don't even get the bottom three lines showing. For the purposes of this video I'm just going to delete out lines four, five and six but there'll be a video appearing at the end of this one which will show you how to set the machine to only have a free line header message instead of the three lines at the top and the three at the bottom. I'll also have another video showing you how to set it to be six, all six lines at the top and then you can just choose which one you need. So it's TLNS to save and escape 
um, and then escape cancel to get back to the main total screen. Um, print, you have to print two receipts out because the way the machines work is every time it prints a receipt it's already printed the top of the next receipt so that's why the first receipt out after you've programmed it still says thank you for your purchase um, but if we do another one get rid of this thing we've now got the sharp help on there sharp help with the website and then the phone number pop that back on there is a double size button here so what you can do if you wanted say if you wanted the any of those lines to appear in double size you go back into the program and then when you press this DC button here you get a W appear in front of the A which means that whatever you type in is in double size so we can quickly delete. I mean, this is how these machines are good. So you can just go back in if you change your mind about the receipt layout. It's easy to change. And that to be in caps. So there's W for double size and the A with the background means it's in caps. Put my space in. TLNS to save. Escape cancel to return to the main screen and then remember the first receipt I print out will have my old one and if I do another sale now, another pint of Carlin cash that off I've now got that in double size so you can see the difference, it does look a lot better um, so you can see how easy it is to play around with um, the receipt header uh, format it's easy to edit um, it is obviously useful to have that page 63 of the manual and also your keyboard overlay um, and as I said there's be videos appearing on screen now which you're welcome to watch which will show you how to edit the actual format of the receipt header so do you want a three line header, do you want a three line footer, do you want a six line header or just a three line header and no footer that will be appearing now so you're welcome to watch that you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more Thanks for watching.